The time that most of us know is time that moves forward. Not many people in the world looking at the time as something that can go backward. For most of people, they cannot even comprehend what do you mean, how time can go backward. Time always moves forward. But when you start to study the wisdom, one of the foundations that you understand that the time that our mind, the capacity of our mind to understand time is very limited. In the Ten Lumen Assemination, Rabbi Isaac Luria speaks about it and Rav Ashlag interprets it. Where they talk about the idea that time is completely an illusion. Time is a completely, completely illusion. In the spiritual level, in the spiritual, the unseen dimensions, time does not exist. Time does not exist. So again, if you try to get it through your mind, you'll not be able to get it. You have to elevate yourself to a different place internally to be able to understand what the Kabbalists speak about. If time does not exist, it means that future does not exist. Because tomorrow does not exist. So the past does not exist as well. So all what remains is what? Is now. Is now. So if you can skip the limitation of the mind of perceiving time, and you'd realize that everything that happened till this moment of our experience of life still exists. It's not something that happened. It's something that happens. Anything that you will experience tomorrow is already at the moment. I believe that some of you had a dream, once at least in life, where you could see something into the future. And it did happen. How could you see something into the future if it never happened? In the spiritual level, the future exists now. Yes, there are many parallel universes and many different options for what you will experience, but whatever it is, it is part of infinity of experiences that are already in existence. And all what we do when we kind of travel through time, all what we do is keeping between dimensions. Pharaoh had the power to keep people in time. Not only to keep people in time, but to take people through time backward. Why it says that he was evil? Because he used his wisdom in a way that was manipulating in the negative ways other people. 